it's Friday and um, this is actually like I think the schedule is getting a little bit weird because I am like it's not the Friday before the Monday I'm gonna post this it's like two Fridays before but life is going to be like not hectic I just think it's gonna be a monotonous slog and so I figured I would get started to see how things turned out so got my muffin these are garden lights muffins so like you may have heard my phone um so there's a lot of veggies in it and like I think oats and so it's like a very intense probably like zucchini cake lots of blueberries so it's not a traditional muffin but it's good and probably like a lot better for you and I think I like them better than a lot of normal muffins because it's not like just like the top is good the whole thing is good so I have class in probably like 30 minutes so I'm gonna do a few things leading up to that and then um, I have class after that again and I'm supposed to be like mooding um, for oral argument next Friday my partner and I are um, and I'm mostly prepared for that but like the turnaround was super quick um, we could either have today, Friday, or next Wednesday, and I was like, I think it'd be better to get out of the way because expectations will be lower, and also, um, I want actual more time to prepare. Um, the more I can have done on the front end, the better. So I got in my first class. I am somehow eating again, but it's like a little after eleven, and. After this class ends, which will end early at like 12.30, um, I will probably leave my room until almost dinner. So I just figured I would go ahead and have a quick lunch if I can fit it in because I've got like 10, 15 minutes. And I can't eat during class because I will be talking and like even the people who aren't talking together if that makes sense even the people who are like <sighs> explain like this section is super small like there's 18 or 17 of us in the class and so today we're split onto the different sides and that means that there are only like nine actually I don't know if there are nine of us I think there are eight of us yeah and so like even if you're not doing the moot part, you are like acting as a judge to help ask difficult questions and like commenting after. So like, I just, I won't be eating. So I'm gonna eat now. from the library where I got a decent amount done but I ended up working on my schedule for next year because like there are a few things that you aside from classes like lottery classes and consent classes that you will apply for at some point um, or put your name in the hat for um, there are some things like clinics or special courses that you have to apply for ahead of time and so I needed to decide where things fit and what I wanted to do. And I'm almost there but not quite because like I made a preliminary schedule around like the end of fall quarter but you can't count on classes being aside from some classes that are literally every year like the same quarter there's some classes that don't happen, you know, like they only happen once or twice the entire time you're at Stanford. And there are also classes where it's like a one-off because it's like a visiting professor of some, of some kind. Like I took one like that last quarter where he may never come back. Like he's an alum, so you can't say that never ever, um, but it's uh, possible that he won't have time or space to do that again. 
and you also have classes that are like they you, they will happen at least once a year but the quarter they happen in like will kind of like go back and forth so um and you obviously like sometimes classes are happening at the same time you need sometimes you need a prereq for another class and then like sometimes like when you're doing clinic um the first time that you do a clinic at least uh you have to do that just that for that quarter like it's all of your credits for the quarter and so if there's a class that only happens in the fall and you have certain classes that you can take as a 1L in the fall and then as a like 2L you're doing a clinic then your only chance is to take it that last fall and so you just kind of have to be aware so that being said I did that in the library for a while, went on Zoom after I got back to do kind of like a mini reunion um, every May. There's like the toast to Truman that we do, so did that, and now I'm going to make dinner. I don't know what I'm going to make. We'll see. Actually, I will see. I think I'm done vlogging for today. I will see you maybe tomorrow. my coffee and I also went to Target for stuff for doing s'mores with walk tonight. When I tell you I meant to get Pedialyte because I'm getting my second shot and forgot I mean it um and I've been waffling on what I want for lunch because we've made it to that part of the day almost it's like 10:50, and the only thing that sounds good is a sandwich from Subway. So I'm going to go back to Target and stop at Subway on my way back. And I feel like an idiot. And I hate doing this back and forth. I thought about ordering it from Amazon, but like getting it from Amazon in the form that I want is just ridiculously expensive for no reason. And it's probably getting more than I want. And then... I also thought like getting it delivered but like paying the delivery fee for that is also ridiculous and like if I want Subway getting that delivered I'll probably get something delivered for dinner because I'm I don't know I'm already behind on what I want to accomplish today anyway all that to say is I'm going back to Target Okay, so I'm back. I've got my my Pedialyte and it was 20% off. I got two. Um, and I've also got my subway sandwich. And my Pedialyte is just in time because I also just got notified or reminded that I have an appointment on Wednesday to get my second vaccine, which is what the Pedialyte is for. So I'm on make a good timeline for something, if not anything else. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have lunch, and then I'm hopefully going to actually do some work, so. I know I'm a little backlit, but that's okay. I have Shake Shack now and I'm gonna have that and then in about an hour I'm gonna go make s'mores so I think like that's the extent of my weekend yesterday I procrastinated today I got some things done made some schedule changes uh, putting off the sea again um, but this time I was supposed to do it last week and then 
I did not anticipate the fact that after in my, in my brief, I would not be ready to just go, which I should have. And then like, I want weekend time to do it. So I was like, let me wait until this weekend. And then I realized that next week is probably like the second worst week to do it. I'm on panel in both classes, back to back days. Um, and then I have oral argument in my third class. And then I have a paper due in one of my classes. So next week is not great. And the week after that, I will have gotten rid of one class and it's an off week for a paper being due. So I was like, that is clearly a better week to be trying to do stuff. And I think the next week also, even the class, one of my classes is canceled one day. So like, it's just a much better week to be doing stuff. And I still have time to do the other part after. Um, so not a quitter yet but definitely not a doer yet um oh and also next week on Wednesday I'm getting my second shot and which is like the Pedialyte reasoning um and so I don't know how I'll be on Thursday so I need to try to get as much done of actual schoolwork and like the paper that's due and like prepping for my oral argument um like by Wednesday night because who knows how I'll wake up on Thursday morning so I'm going to have my Shake Shack and then the sun will go down and it'll be s'more time unless I can start a fire. Which like I, I bought the things required to start a fire and like the barbecue pit but like or fire pit. I think there's a barbecue and a fire pit. Anyway, I have the things that I think I need. We'll see if it actually works. Mm -hmm.